When you say yes to using your NDIS money to pay for help, you and the person who helps you make a deal together. This deal is called a service agreement. It is covered by a law in Australia that protects people who buy things or get services. A service agreement between a service provider and a participant is just like any other agreement that falls under Australian consumer law. Providers need to make sure that you as a participant understand the terms of their service agreement. They should communicate in a way that you can understand. It's a good idea to have a written service agreement between you and the provider. This helps to avoid any misunderstandings about what support will be provided and how it will be delivered. You and your provider need to discuss and agree on the terms of the service. You can ask someone you trust, like a family member or friend, to help you make a service agreement. You can use a service agreement that the person who helps you has used before, or you can make your own. When you talk with the person who helps you, you should know what kind of help you need, how much it will cost, and who will do what. This is called negotiating a service agreement. You should also know what the person who helps you will do for you, how much it will cost, what you have to do, how long the agreement will last, how you can change the agreement if you need to, and what to do if you don't agree with something in the agreement. For specialist disability accommodation, there must be a written service agreement. For other NDIS services, it's not required to have a written agreement. The NDIA does not directly participate in service agreement between participants and providers. However, it will intervene if the terms of the agreement are not in line with the NDIS Act and NDIS pricing arrangements and price limits. The NDIS Quality and Safeguards Commission, NDIS Commission, is in charge of making sure that providers follow the rules in all parts of Australia. You can find more information about service agreements and the laws that apply to them on the NDIS Quality and Safeguard Commission website. We have more information about NDIS service agreements on our website. Visit our website to find out more.